All right, people, quick and fast, quick and fast, quick and fast. I'm here to make a report. Yeah, people, quick and fast. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, people. Come on over, I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. Waiting on you to come on over. Breaking news. I've not said anything yet. Share the live, people. Share the live real quick. Real quick. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news, people. Share the live. Like of the live. Share the live, people. Like up the live before we drop the big news. Yes, it's breaking news. It's breaking news. And I won't be staying long. I won't be staying long on this video because I have to drive out like in a few. Yeah. Won't be staying long, people. Tell your friend to tell a friend to come on over. Breaking news. Maryland, what are going? All right, the weather is here back. Cheer up the live people have a breaking news about Kimar Toxilarens. As you can see in the in, 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 in the title of this video, people. Breaking news. Alright, let's get right into it. I don't want to belabor the point. Jamaican international reggae boy Kimar Toxy Lawrence will be released by his club Toronto FC. Apparently, Toronto FC is, um, what you'd say now? They're actually doing an overall. And this information I got from credible sources. A journalist in Canada and another Canadian, um, you know, another Canadian source. I verified the information and it is actually um, true. So he will be released. The problem they're having is that they're going to be, well, they actually signed three international players. But in order for them to, you know, free up the international slots, they have to, you know, get rid of these players. And that is the situation. Um, persons asked if the, it, it, um, the, the, the player could be re-signed or redrafted, and the answer is no because what has happened is that the redraft date has passed, so that won't be happening at this time for Kemar Lawrence. They are freeing up the international slots. Like I said before, Toronto FC is going through an overall. They would have only confirmed one player coming in, but they are releasing a lot of players. Yes, people, that is what is happening, and I'm here to report that to you. Now, Kimar Taxi Lawrence is still under contract, from what I understand. So what will happen is that the player might be sold to another club. So, probably with, it, with this friendly and the three World Cup qualifier games coming up, he'll have to do a whole lot, you know, um, impressing. Even though Kimar Taxi Lawrence is a, is, a, is a very good baller, he has served the country on, on that section of the field, that side of the field, extremely well. Yeah? Um, that is the situation with him right now. He should be getting a club based on what I am hearing because he's a, he's a signed player to the club or he's contracted to the club. So more than likely they're going to trade him. It's not like his contract has, has, has run out, but they, they, they are going to basically um, trade him. You know what I mean? So that's basically it where that is concerned at the moment. Um, big up to our sources for giving us this information. We appreciate it. 
and um, we wish Taxi all the best. Wish him all the best, and definitely we will be following this story more to see where he'll be going and and such the like. I uh, doubt Taxi will be retiring from international football. I don't see that right now. Don't think he'll also be retiring from club football. No, so we I am hoping to see him going to another MLS club. Yeah, he has a lot of pedigree. So I definitely hope to see him go into uh, another club. Uh, let me check out some of the um, comments. Laurel Maryland said that, hello, good day coach, and others, I'm back. All right, big up yourself, Laurel, welcome back. My phone screen is up and running, up and running. All right, Laurel, when you say taxi is a good man, all right, cool. Michael Garden, big up yourself. Taxi can and should seek other venues outside the MLS. Several clubs desire is serving in Europe. But remember, he was in Europe you know, and he left from Anderlecht because of, you know, family um, situation. So will he be going back to Europe? I am not sure. I am not sure if that will, um, you know, be happening. But you never know. People can have change of heart. He wants to stay close to his family. So, yeah, man, I know that he wants to stay close to his family. So that's probably one of the reasons why, you know, he is thinking about or probably staying if the option um, is there for him to stay in 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 in, in us mls all right so yeah people that's basically what we want to tell you key mark dr lawrence the situation with him right now he's about to be released by toronto fc um we're wishing him all the best we know that with his pedigree definitely will get up now. No doubt about that. You know? You can't stop the taxi. The taxi will always be always be running. Yeah? If them take away the red plate, the taxi always are gonna run. <laughs> Profound ministry, big up yourself, my brother. Europe would be good for him. Yes, but remember he was in Europe in a big club and the left and he, he left for MLS. So let's see. Seattle and Cincinnati should could utilize his services, yes. And you know there, there there's about four uh, about four to five weeks before um the, 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 the MLS season kicks off. So I think he, he has some time, plays out those three games, regroup and come again. His agent will be working on, on, on something. That's what I'm presuming. Philadelphia Union is going to take him back because they dropped him before and wanted him back. Okay. Alright, let's see what will happen there. Um Lauren. But people, like I said, this one is just a quick breaking news. And we are definitely going to run right now because we have to go. Yeah people. We have to go. We have to go. Alright, and you know. Every time we drive and I do a live, police stop me at the same place, you know? So I don't want to do that again. He still have a lot to offer still. Of course, I believe, yeah man, I believe he has a lot to offer. Regardless of what some persons are saying. He has a lot to offer. No doubt about that. Yeah? So, definitely. Alright, so thanks very much for tuning in. Oh, he could go Red Bull. <laughs> All right, I think he was there before, right? Yeah, definitely. All right, people. So, take care of yourself until you come more. Remember, we'll be having the watch along later, people. Stay tuned, and you know, continue to like up the stream and support Coach's Desk. Until next time, peace out.